Welcome back. Taking a look at your Opportunity Bank Cam in Helena, we are seeing some mostly clear skies. You can even see a little bit of the moon right there, which is kind of fun. The Great Falls Cam is currently broken, but you would also see some mostly clear skies. And tonight we're actually going to see those mostly clear skies continuing into the evening hours, but then over the overnight hours, we'll see those clouds increasing to some mostly cloudy skies. We do also have some possible light snow from Belt to White Sulphur Springs, which could cause some slippery conditions. I'll go into more detail in just a second. And we will see some above average temperatures for next week. Why are we seeing this? Well, we do. We are in the back end of an upper level trough that is beginning to make its way out of the area. Now, you're going to notice that there will be an upper level ridge kind of centered over the western um, coast gonna start to make its way into the area. Now this ridge is going to break off into a broken high and you can see that here. This just means that this area is going to be con concentrated of dry conditions and some quiet weather conditions as well. There won't be any really any wind or any snow and before it hits Montana it's actually going to break into another upper level ridge so you can't expect those dry conditions to make its way into the state and we are going to see those dry conditions for um, the, at least the first half of this week. So that is something that you can expect. And taking a look at your future track, we do have some snow that is kind of beginning to make its way out of the area over in the eastern portion of the state. And we do have some increasing clouds tonight. But over here, I want to draw your attention to here. We do have some chances to see some light mountain snow and some light snow in that um, southern portion of Belt and the northern portion of White Sulphur Springs tonight. So that could cause some slick conditions, especially if you're traveling. Most of the snow will stop in the morning and then we'll see mostly dry conditions there on out um, and we are also going to see those clouds kind of paint playing nice. We do have the opportunity to see some more snow um, Sunday evening in that Glasgow area, but mostly that will be in the higher elevations. And then for the most part it is going to be mostly dry until Monday. Taking a look at your wind gust tracker, we're also a bit breezy right now. We are seeing those wind gusts up to 20 miles per hour over here in the northern portion of the state. And then the further east you go, we can see that those wind gusts are up to 40 miles per hour by Malta and Glasgow. And we do have the chance to see some 40 mile per hour winds over in Lewistown as well. As we head into early Sunday, a lot of those winds are going to kind of die down, but picking back up into that 10 to 20 mile per hour range and then dying back down again um, a couple of times into that 5 to 10 mile per hour. But what you need to know is that it's going to be a little bit breezy as we head into Monday. And then we have the opportunity to see some of those winds, especially along the Rocky Mountain front, popping up up to 40 miles per hour by Monday evening. Um, and then those 40 mile per hour winds will kind of congregate over into Tuesday. We also do have a lake wind advisory. We could see those 40 mile per hour wind gusts along the Fort Peck Lake until 8 a.m. tomorrow, creating strong winds and possible hazardous conditions. So just make sure that you are keeping an eye out for that. Currently, those temperatures are in the 30s and the 40s, and we are going to see them dip into the 20s and the teens tonight. For some mostly cloudy skies, eventually it is going to be a get bit cold and then tomorrow expect those highs to pop up into the 40s and the upper 30s again. It's going to be chilly but that sun will remain out.